Hey everyone, in this video we will be learning how to switch between first person and third person camera system, kind of like GTA. In the end of the video we will be able to make this. Without wasting any time, let's get started. So to start off you will be needing some kind of a third person character controller. In my case I already have made this one, so it looks something like this. Now if you don't know how to make a third person character controller, or if you are curious how I made this third person character controller, then you can go ahead and check out my video which is this one, in which we make the uh, third person character controller movement system uh, and it is basically the same just the animations a little changed because in that we used a rifle uh, animation and this one is normal so yeah this is the basic uh, third person character controller movement you can easily make it this in just five minutes basically if you have all the animations and all that so if you're confused make sure you see that video so you will have to start off from here with a third person character controller so basically i have a i have a player and there is a follow right over here, follow game object over here. And then at the same place, we have a, ca a camera base, which is at the same place, as you can see. And in the camera base, we have a main camera so that this base, ca uh, this base can pivot around the camera, uh, the, the player. And we have some little FSM over here, which says move towards the base, uh, the follow, and also look around the mouse. And this basically makes the camera movement. And in the player, we have this little FSM, which is this one is the idle and this one is the run. Idle and walk, run. And these basically are the little uh, any, uh, actions that we just made. So if you are confused what this is, then this is basically Playmaker. Playmaker is a really cool asset that helps you make games without writing a single line of code. Uh, if you haven't used Playmaker, then believe me, it will change your life. Uh, if you want to use Playmaker, you can go ahead and buy it from Asset Store. Or if you don't want to buy it, you can also download it for free. The link will be in the description box below. I will personally provide it to you guys. So once you've downloaded Playmaker, drag it inside of Unity, import it, install it, and you will be good to go. You will have these three folders or, or the three or four folders and you will be good to go. If you have any problems regarding Playmaker, let me know in the comments. I will try to help you out. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now this, I'm going to rename it to the TPS base. Alright, so this is the third person a camera base now if this is a third person character controller base we also want to make a first person camera base so how do we do that well first you have to go to the player inside as you can see this is the follow for the third person so i'm gonna say follow so we will also have to make a follow for the uh, first person so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the mixmo hips inside the spine inside the spine one two neck and we have to select the head because the first person camera will be inside of the head the camera will not be inside the head but it will follow the head basically so inside of the head i'm gonna say right click create an empty game object and this one will be uh, i already have it so i'm gonna delete that one so i'm gonna make a new game object inside of the head rename it to follow oops rename it to follow fps all right so this is what our camera will follow i'm gonna go ahead and press f oops uh, and bring it out just like that somewhere over here and we can of course tweak it uh, later on then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this follow FPS, bring it out from the player, rename it to rename it to base FPS. Now uh, in the base FPS, of course, we wanna add in a new camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the camera from here, drag it inside of the base FPS, and just do that. And I'm gonna also go ahead and reset the transform so that's zero zero zero, and it snaps to where it should be. I think it's it's good over here now we need to do some coding or do the fsm thingy so as you can see in the fsm we made a move towards and a mouse lock so we have to do the same exact thing i can copy and paste it but i'm gonna make it uh make it from scratch for you guys so add component fsm and you will be able to see it if you have imported playmaker properly so go ahead and say edit and say move towards move towards and user owner will move towards the move towards the the follow fps just like that make sure the finish distance is zero because we don't want to finish it at all and speed is 10 is okay and then we're gonna say mouse look mouse look and i always decrease the sensitivity and make sure the y-axis is negative otherwise because the y-axis is always inverted so make sure this is minus three and this is three you can increase and decrease this sensitivity uh, according to your taste but in my case this is good and now let's go ahead and go to the player and you don't have to do this i'm gonna do this for for a second uh just like that so that we can test it out so uh, if i go ahead and disable the tps base so now we have only the fps base and if i play the game we should have some kind of a decent effect 
as you can see, I can look around and the oh shit, oh shit. Uh, otherwise, I can move around, I can walk around, and as you can see, I can look down and all that. Uh, there is little problem over here as you can see it's clipping through and all that uh, and there's this problem over here I, I oh shit no no okay so there are little problems so there are these little problems that we have to <laughs> we have to fix okay so in order to fix the the thing that we can look back to our player in order to fix that we have to make the player always uh, face the direction of the camera right so it means if we rotate the camera the whole player will rotate like this so there is no way there is no way he will rotate like this all right so there's no way that we can look back because if we look back the player will player will be always behind the camera so in order to fix that what you have to do is you have to make two separate fsms so as you can see this is the fsm uh, for the movement so i renamed this to tps third person movement system so i'm going to copy the component paste the component as a new and this one will be FPS and you have to add in one little action in here and that is a smooth look at so smooth look at and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the FPS main camera right click create an empty game object and bring that empty game object in front of it make sure it is uh, in front in only the Z direction uh, like just like that no no X and Y so that it's right in front of the camera and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the player again in the FPS drag in the game object right in here make sure the finish, finish tolerance is 0 increase the speed to 15 or anything and then copy this guy paste this guy in here so that will that should take care of everything if I go ahead and play the game make sure TPS is disabled for now so as you can see now if we, I, I rotate as you can see the cam uh, the player also rotates and we can no longer see the uh, the player behind us and we can also move around we can look down and see the shadow of the player of course it is clipping right now uh, but yeah everything is properly working okay so the only problem now is the clipping thing and now if you are having a little more clipping than me then it is because you have to decrease the clipping planes to zero and it will automatically become 0.01 otherwise it is one and if I go ahead and play the game right now it will clip a lot so you have to you have to decrease the near plane so as you can see now I cannot no, I cannot even see the the hands of the player so I do want to see the hands of the player so that that is why I just decrease this zero so now I can see the hands of the player as well as some other things that I don't want to see so how do we fix that well uh, let's see so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and whenever I am in the first person view I want to cut off his head all right so we don't have any mesh but if I do that we will no longer be able to see the shadow so I have to do it in some way that we have no mesh but we still have some shadow so how do we do that if I go ahead and select his head uh, if I just go ahead and dis disable his oh shit <laughs> okay he it looks really bad with that so uh, without the cap otherwise so now you can see if I disable the head right now so as you can see the shadow also d disappears and that will not look realistic but there is another way so as you can see in the skinned mesh renderer we have a cast shadow which is set to on if I go in there and say shadows only we have disabled the mesh but the the uh, the shadow is still there right so this is what we're gonna use this is a really amazing feature if I set this to off there will be no shadow but uh, we can see the head but that's not what we're gonna do we are gonna go ahead and simply disable the shadow uh, disable the mesh but only the shadow will be there uh, my my cap is off uh, I'm gonna turn it off for now but uh, because of that he his head looks really really bad so I will have to do the same thing for the for the cap also but before we do that we have to make a switch system so that when we press a certain button uh, we will switch between the fps and tps so in order to do that i'm going to go ahead and re create a new game object that will be so reset the transform and that will be uh, camera manager camera manager you can rename it to anything you want and i'm going to go ahead and add an fsm in here and in here i'm going to go ahead and say get button down get button down which means when we press a certain button and we will have to make a certain button so go to edit project settings input and in there I'm gonna go ahead and say increase this button uh, increase this number with one so in my case it's 31 so I'm gonna add in a 32 
when we do that you can see the last one is duplicated i'm gonna go ahead and say switch i already have made this so i have a switch and the positive button is b all right so uh i guess i'm gonna use this one so you have to just go ahead and uh, rename it to something like that and you have to uh, add in a button i'm gonna use this one so i'm gonna say copy the name close this paste the name in here so switch which basically is b so whenever we switch we want to go ahead and say new event switch so paste the name in here just <laughs> okay add transition switch add transition switch bam bam all right so we have a loop right now again to do the same thing copy the name paste in here so so whenever we press b we come in here whenever we press b we come over here so i'm gonna go ahead and say tps this one is the third person this one is the first person so fps so when the game starts we will be in the third person view and when we press b we're gonna come in the fps view and when we press b again we're gonna come in the tps view and yeah that should be good so in the fps what we want to do is i want to go ahead and drag and drop the fps uh no uh you say activate game object activate game object which basically means disable or enable a game job object so whenever we are in the tps we want to disable the fps base disable that copy paste and drag and drop the tps base and enable that right simple as that so whenever we are in the uh, tps we want to enable the tps and disable the fps i'm going to copy these two paste them in and invert them so whenever we are in fps fps will be enabled and tps camera will be disabled all right and one more thing make sure this is locked select the camera uh select the player drag and drop the tps just like that the the fsm say set property enabled to true and drag and drop the fps set property enabled to false simple as that so when we are in tps we want to enable the tps fsm disable the F uh, fps fsm copy these two paste these two invert them just like so so now if i go ahead and play the game so whenever we press b we should be able to switch between the fps and third person uh, cameras so right now we are in third person if i press b we are now the uh, first person now if i press b again i run over here and press b again uh we are in third person so how do we fix that little delay that is happening so in order to fix that we should not disable the whole fps base and tps base we should only disable the cameras all right so I'm gonna go ahead and real quick rename these. So I renamed the main camera. This is the FPS main camera. This is the TPS main camera. I'm gonna go ahead to the camera manager, say edit, and we have to do one little thing. We will have to drag and drop the FPS main camera instead of the FPS base. TPS main camera instead of the TPS base. FPS main camera instead of the FPS base. TPS main camera instead of the... So the TPS base and FPS base will be there, but the camera will be just disabled. So that will fix everything, hopefully. So if I go ahead and play the game right now, we are in the third person view. If I run around, if I press B, as you can see now there is no delay. All right. So if I come over here, uh, just like that, as you can see, here we go. Awesome. So there is no delay, nothing, and everything is properly working. We can run around, move around, and we can also come to the uh, first person view. Amazing. So now the only thing that we have to fix is the FPS clipping. All right. So as you can see this one. We have to fix this clipping. We want to see the hands. We want to see everything, but we don't have to see the, the this thing, all right? So this thing over here. We don't want to see this thing. So how do we fix that? We simply go ahead and disable this thing. So this thing is basically the head. We're going to simply go ahead and disable the head. Uh, so if I go ahead and select the head and the cap, I'm going to go ahead and disable these two for now, for now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I will have to go to the spine, spine one, spine two, spine three, neck, head and in the fps follow i will also select the fps base and i'm gonna go ahead and say f zoom in and i'm gonna go ahead and bring it out just a little bit move it down just a little bit uh kind of like that kind of like that right so now if i go ahead and play the game and just to test it out if it is working properly or not i'm gonna switch between fps so now as you can see we can see the hands running around and we can also see the legs and all that and um, but the only thing that we have is the there is no head so we will have to do that thing that we just did so cast the shadows only and remove the head but otherwise uh, everything is properly working all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and select the camera manager go in there and say edit 
and I'm gonna go ahead and select the head. So this is the head, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and close all of these. Drag and drop the skinned mesh renderer for the head. Say set property. And as you can see, there are a whole lot of things over here. I have to find the the cast shadows uh, thing over here. So that will be... Uh, so you have to select the shadow casting mode, which is this one, shadow casting mode, and select the shadows only. All right. Uh, but in the TPS, we don't want to do that. So are we going to set this to on just like that in the third person? And again, the same thing for the cap. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the cap in here. And you don't have to do this, for, but in my case, I will have to do this because the cap, without the cap, he looks like a son of a bitch. So is this the cap? Yes, it is. So. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say drag set property, shadow casting mode, and on. Just like that. Now we have to copy these two. Oops, copy these two. Copy. Select this guy. Turn all of these off. Paste them and say shadows only. Shadows only. Cool. Now we can just simply enable these heads. And now, if I go ahead and play the game, you will see. If I switch between the third person and first person, you will see that his head will be vanishing. If I press B, as you can see, he has no head, but in the shadow, we have the head. <laughs> Amazing. So, as you can see now, we can see the hands and all that, and he still has the head shadow, and everything is looking properly. And when we come back, we have the head back. So, if I come over here, no head, head, no head, head, no head, head, but there is still the shadow. <laughs> Amazing. So this is basically it. This is how you make the first person and third person camera switch system with all the shadows, with all the legs and with everything. And as you can see, when he runs, he has his hands doing that thing. And if I come out, as you can see, everything is properly working. This is how you make the FPS and TPS camera switch system inside of Unity. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. And uh, yeah, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Peace out.